Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make your own animation in Codespaces Pro. So here we have a astronauts and off he goes up into his rockets. Door closes, the rocket takes off and then it switches to another scene where the rocket lands on Mars. So let's see how that goes. There we go, the rocket comes down, lands on Mars, the camera pans round there we go and out he comes okay let's get started so the first thing we need to do is create yourself a new co-space and we'll change the environment and we'll start him on a grassy plane good now for this example i'm going to use the transport i'll use a rocket ship there's my rocket i'll need to spin him round 280 90 degrees there we go and we'll bring him up ready to launch. So there's my rocket. And we'll also have a an astronaut. Oh yeah, he's astronaut man. There he is. So there's my astronaut man. And he's going to start here. There we go, at the beginning just there. Good, excellent. So what we need to do now is for both the rocket and the astronaut man, we need to go to the code section and make sure use in code blocks is ticked. Code using to block code blocks, good. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get him to walk over to the rocket. So in order to do that, we're going to get him to follow a path, a straight path. There we go. From here to here. And our rocket is going to, it's actually going to have its doors open. We'll just turn him around this way slightly. Uh, you should have a door about here, I think, and it's going to open down. So here's our path, our straight path. Uh, it's going to go straight to about here, and then it's going to need to bend up. So what we do there is we click here on the dots. We edit the path, and we need to put a dot about there in between. So that, oh, that's no good. We need to use the up, down, about there. So now if we have a look around, you can see my path actually goes straight, and then it goes up. Also, my there we are. My camera needs to be further back, so it's going to see him going along and then up. There we go. So now let's have a look at the code. Well, what do we got to do? So click on code box. When start clicked, what we're going to do is he's going to follow the path up to the rocket. So we're going to just type in path in the search bit. Move the astronaut man on path, straight path in about five seconds. So let's click play. Make sure that works. Good. So there we go. And it's going about the right sort of way. We can change that in a minute. Uh, we can adjust that in a minute. At the moment, he's just sort of flying along. So what we want to do here is we need to change the animation. Animation, set animation. There we go. Before we move him right at the start, let's set the animation to walk. There we go. And now hopefully, there you go. Uh, he's walking a bit fast, so it looks like he's moonwalking, but um, you get the idea. Good. There we go. And what we'll also do is we'll set the rocket animation. Um, animation at this moment. We'll set the rocket animation to... Oh, rocket animation to open. And then once he gets in, we'll set the rocket animation to closed. There you go. So the rocket's open, and he starts to walk in, and then it closes. Good. So we're getting somewhere nearer now. We need to move him a little bit further there in. So let's move our path just a little bit further along. Uh, yeah, move him a bit further along. Just click on the path, and we'll just move him about there. And maybe move that slightly. You'll have to play with this just to make sure it's right. Let's try that again. There you are. We're getting a lot closer now. I'm going to leave it like that, but you can uh, you can adjust yours. Now what we want to do is, if you look, the rocket man there was uh, still um, still visible here. So what we need to do is we need to trick it slightly to get rid of him. And uh, there isn't a uh, an option to hide the rocket man. So instead, what we'll do is we'll move the rocket man. Um, there we are, and we'll just move him 
3,000 meters forward. There you go, in zero seconds. So that effectively will just send him off into the distance somewhere instantly, and he will disappear. Let's have a look. Yeah, walking up, walking up. And there he is, off he goes. Good. Brilliant. So now we've got the rocket, and the rocket is now ready to take off. So what we do here is we get our rocket, and we're going to move the rocket here, and we're going to move him along this one. Now, you might not see this block uh, because this is in the advanced settings. So in order to get access to it, you need to click on settings here at the bottom and make sure advanced code blocks is clicked. There we go. So you'll be able to use this. There we go. And we're going to move the rocket. Uh, the X is across. The Y is forwards and backwards. So And the Z is up down. So we'll set it to 300. So it's going to go upwards in about 10 seconds. Let's have a look. Let's try that. Da, 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 da. Off he goes. And then zoom straight into the uh, up into the sky there. Um, it was a bit instantaneous there. So maybe what we want to do is have a bit of a delay here before we send the rocket into the sky. So what we'll do here is we'll go for wait. Uh, wait for one second. Uh, and we'll put that before we move the rocket. There you go. So now, hopefully, goes along, and then it waits, and then it goes off up into the sky, which is good. That's okay. So now, what we want to do though is, um, as, if you noticed on the previous one before, when the rocket took off, the camera zoo uh, changed from uh, being on the ground. The camera changed to uh, being a point of view shot from the top of the rocket. So how do we do that? Well, what we do there is we add another camera. So we go, there we go, camera. There we go. So now we've got two cameras, but this camera one, what we do is we click here and we attach the camera one to the top of the rocket. And then we just simply spin it facing down and we'll just move it a bit off the rocket so you can actually see the top of the rocket. So that second camera now is facing down. And all we do here now is we type in camera, switch camera to, and okay, no camera items. And the reason being is this camera here that's now in rocket is we need to go to code, use in code blocks. Good. So now, there we go, it gives us the option of camera one. Good. So it walks along, it goes up there, it gets in the spaceship, it switches to the spaceship, and now we are taking off. It doesn't look like we're taking off initially because uh, around the rocket itself, there wasn't a lot of, um, there, wasn't, there wasn't actually any, any, anything like any objects around the rocket on the ground. So you can see that it was taking off. But there we go. Good. So now what we want to do here is we're going to get it so that um, once it's done that there, we're going to switch to another scene, which is the Mars scene. So what we do now is we come along here and we go to this one here. And once we go here, we go to down the bottom, which is new scene, new 3D environment. And we're going to create the Mars one. So environment, let's click there, change it to the, that one, and the night scene there, which creates us a Mars-like environment. Good. So now if you click back to the items, you can see that there's only a camera there, the rocket ship's gone, and the man is gone. So we'll have to add those again. Uh, so we'll add our rocket man. Oops. Let's change to a woman. Let's click that one. Let's put the original man. You could choose whichever one you want, but I'm going to stick with the same one we've had. Transport. And let's put our rocket back in there. So let's spin him back round. Move him up again. There we go. And for this, what we'll do is we will set our man to be in the same position as the rocket. There we go. Good. Excellent, so our man's in the rocket. Uh, you don't have to worry about it too much for the moment. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, good. So now we've got our rocket and our man. And what we want to do is we want to start them both at, um, at the top of the scene. So 
them what we'll do here. In fact, actually, we'll just start the rocket at the top of the scene and we'll just hide the man again like we did before. So go to uh, code the man, the rocket, uh, using code blocks, good. Let's add some code, code blocks. So what we'll do here is at the start of the scene, let's move our astronaut man uh, 300 meters forward and with zero seconds, so that'll hide him. Let's move the rocket to, uh, let's go 100 meters up. And we'll do that instantly. And then what we'll do is we will get the rocket to come down slowly. Let's do that in 10 seconds, uh, down to Z. So now if we press play, there's our rocket at the start. And he will come down. Here we go, all the way down. And he will land. Good. So there you go. Now at the point of the landing, what we need to do is we need to. Um, oops, why is that not moving? There we go. At the point of the landing, what we need to do is we need to make our man appear and the door open. So let's go to animate. Set animation of the rocket to open. And that'll open. There we go. And then what we do is we need to get him to walk out along the path again. So this time, another straight path, but this time going the other way. So it'll start there and go over to here. Again, you can edit this in a bit. Uh, let's just go there. Oops, where's my path gone? There it is. Uh, edit the path. We'll have a node about. Oops. Uh, let's try that again. Edit path. No. Zoom in. Doesn't like being that far out. There we go. Another node there. Click on that node and let's move that one up. We'll move it across. Move our path. There we go. Uh, move it across to there, which is about right. Again, you can edit yours in a bit. So the path is there. Now what we need to do is what we'll do, let's just try that. So we'll go astronaut man, let's move. Uh, there we go. Now we need to move the astronaut man back. Uh, but this time what we're going to do is we're just going to move the astronaut man instantly to the same position as the rocket. So the rocket's position is zero, zero, zero. So we'll move the astronaut man to zero, zero, zero. Good. There we go. And then I'll oh, move that in zero seconds. And then we will get him walking. So move along the path. Straight move. There you go. In five seconds. So let's see how that looks. In fact, actually, what we'll, what we'll do while we're testing is this bit here. Just change it to five seconds. You can make it slower later, but otherwise, uh, while you're testing, it's going to take ages. So down it comes. Door opens. And. There we go. Now our man here has gone all over the place for some reason. He's not gone where I expected him to go. So there's obviously a bit of an issue here. Um, move astronaut man along the straight path. Let's just have a look at that straight path. Uh, let's just make it a bit bigger. Oops. No, that's fine. Let's make it small again. So it is going the right way. Now uh, there's little chevrons there that say it's going the wrong way. Actually, what it probably is, is that this path isn't where we think it should be, or rather the spaceship isn't where it should be. So we're going to trick it here. What we're going to do is we're going to move this path. Before we move the... Uh, we're going to move the astronaut man to 000, but we're also going to move the straight path to 000 as well, just to make sure that it is in the right place. And we'll also move the camera back out of the way here so that we can see what's actually going on. So let's try that now. And there you go. That's much better. Much, much better. Good. He's walking along there. Uh, now our rocket ship needs to turn around. So let's turn our rocket ship around. Um, oops. That bit there. Uh, let's go here. So the rocket ship he needs to turn around. Probably about there, I think. That should do it. 
That path also needs to go, the end of node of the path there probably needs to go a bit higher. So we'll do is just end, where's that end node? There he is. Look on the end node, move that a little bit higher. Again, you're going to want to uh, experiment with that, make sure it's right. Maybe change the time so it's maybe 10 seconds instead of 5. And we'll also set the animation of our man to let's set the animation of our astronaut man to walk low gravity. It's just hiding there. If you can't see it, just pull this bit across here a bit and you'll be able to see them all there. Walk low gravity. And we can always pull that back later. So let's have a look. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, let's just watch that again because I don't think that quite worked as we expected it to do. Man sees you walking down. Oh, he's already on the ground, so maybe that's why he's not walking along the path. So, what we'll do here is we'll set the Z, the Z of the uh, astronaut man there to be a bit up so he should walk down the steps. Let's try that. There we go. So we're getting there now. We are about there. Uh, that path just needs moving along out of the way slightly. Out there, maybe. Again, you're going to have to play with this. Make sure it's right. So that comes down to land. And, yeah, it's about right. It's about right. You can mess around with it. Make sure it works. Get all that sorted. Um, actually, if you want to move the straight path, because we're moving it here and moving it there... You actually dragging this straight path there now is going to make any difference. You're going to have to edit it here in the X, Y, and Z bit here. So again, you're just going to have to play along with it and see how it goes. So let's try that there. Is that right? Uh, no, let's try that again. So just try messing with these numbers here. See what happens. There we go, we're getting a bit nearer now, aren't we? A little bit nearer. Okay, I'm not, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm not going to mess around with those numbers. But you want to mess around with these numbers here, of the astronaut man, or these numbers here. Mess around with them until you get the right number so it starts walking in the right place. It'll change from each one. Now, you've probably noticed in the original one here, when I click Start, when I click Play, um, not on this one, thank you, uh, on Earth, when I click, click play, it said, do you want to go to the moon or to Mars? And you could actually choose. And actually, if I clicked the moon, it would actually take me to the moon instead, rather than taking me to Mars. So how do we do that? How do we give them an option on the first screen? Well, let me show you how you do that. Go back to the first screen. And here, right at the start, what we need to do is we need to do a question. There, show choice panel with question. There we go. And right at the start, we say, where do you want to go? To go. Good. And there are two options. The moon. Moon and Mars. There we go. Good. So, we got those two options there. But, um, what we are going to do is we're going to switch to the next scene. Um which you can, we haven't actually done that yet, but we'll do that in a second. So let's do that uh, scene. So we're going to go to the next scene, but we don't want to use these go to the next scene there. Um, we don't want to go yet, yet because we need to do all the rest of all of these here. So what we do here, we don't go straight to the next scene when we ask the question. What we do is we store it in a variable. and So we go to items, uh, oh sorry, data. And we go to here where it says set my var. And this is going to be called destination. And we're going to set the destination to moon. So if uh, when they select moon, it's, say, it sets the variable moon to moon. It, so it sets the variable destination to moon. If they... If they click on Mars, we set the destination to Mars. There we go. So we set the variable here right at the start, which just gets the computer to remember. 
under the name destination it says either moon or it says mars and then right at the end here what we do is we do an if else statement so we just type in else which will get us an if else and just there we go and we go to equals there we go and data good if destination equals and we need da, 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 one with a string i don't know how we would do that where's the string one nope okay let's have a quick look <laughs> it's hiding here somewhere there it is the red one here the string where it says a b c so if the destination equals and we can do moon then we'll set change the scene to the moon scene now that needs to be called mars doesn't it I'll just create one more scene here, a new scene there, 3D environment. We'll call that moon. Uh, let's set that to the moon environment. Call that moon. We'll go back here. And also make sure... Oh no, that's okay. Uh, now what we go to the scene. No scene. No scene. So if the destination is the moon, we send it to the moon. And if the destination is otherwise, if the destination is not moon, we send them to Mars. There we go. Good stuff. So now if we click, click play, do you want to go to the moon or to Mars? We'll go to Mars because I haven't actually coded the moon. And now it should. There we go. We're blasting off into the sky. One, two, three, four, five. And now it should take us. There we go. It takes us to Mars. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay. And we just need to adjust that bit so he actually walks out of there. And now there's just one more bit to go. So now there's only one bit to go. Now, if you look here, when I click play on this one, let's just run this again. Uh, let's just go back. Let me just show you this. So the Mars one, if I click play, You'll notice at the start of the scene, I'm not actually looking at anything, and I have to start looking around to find out what's going on. Uh, whereas in my original one, you'll have probably noticed that when I click play, it did like an automatic cutscene where the camera pans, it looks at the rocket, and then it actually pans around and looks elsewhere automatically. So it's quite a cool little trick, and it's not terribly hard to do. So how do we do it? Well, all we've got to do is on the bit when the rocket comes down, which is this bit here, uh, at the same time as the rocket coming down, we also need to turn the camera to follow it. So how do we do that? Well, actually, it's quite simple. What we do is we need, a, um, we need to use something called run separately. Let's just type in run. And we need this run separately and just put it before where the rocket uh, before the rocket animates the reason we need to put it before is this thing will run another script but whereas these scripts run one after another like one two three four five this actually will just execute this other script this which we put inside of here at exactly the same time as this one rather than uh, one after the other so it'll actually run at the same time so how do we do that well that's nice and simple. We run this one separately, and all we do is we go to turn, and we use this one here, and we're going to need two lots of it. So here we go. Let's put two of them there, uh, and we're going to turn the camera. Now, the uh, code blocks don't actually haven't actually released any documentation for this, so I don't really know how it works, but. Through a bit of trial and error, what I've noticed for this project is that if at the first bit, if we change that, I think that's one maybe or minus one. Let's try that minus one. Uh, and we change that there, and then we change that to one, and we change that to five seconds. I think it's that way around. Should 
There we go. Done. Perfect. So, there you go. That's pretty much how it is. So this one here, let's just talk through it. This first one here turns the camera up. Um, for some reason, that's minus one. I don't know why that's minus one, but hey-ho. Um, so, um, it, it turns it up, and it goes 90 degrees facing up there. And then this one, even though the x-axis is across, I don't really know what it's doing there. Um, and this one here is does exactly the opposite. But whereas this one does it instantly, this one does it in five seconds. Um, feel free to, uh, you know, play with these, see what happens. Um, you can see if you can make it pan to the left. Um, let's try 0.1 or something. Let's see if that changes something. That go left or right or something. Uh, doesn't really seem to do anything at all. Um, so you can mess with these, see if you can, see what you can get it to do. Um, I literally have no idea. Oh, does that seem to be turning it to the right? That does seem to be turning it to the right. So maybe if we change that to sort of 0 0.4 or something there, it will turn it there a bit more to the right. And oh yeah, look at that, it's sort of panning round to the right. There you go. So. You just mess around with those numbers, see what they do. Um, I mean, there must be some logic to it, uh, but I haven't a clue what it is, uh, and they haven't released any documentation. Okie dokie. So there's your tutorial. Let's uh, let's take that right back to the beginning. There we go. And if we play, oops, nope, not that one. Let's go back to our original scene. So from the beginning, let's go to Mars. Off we go for a walk. Walks up the steps, disappears off in his rocket ship, which is very good. Off we go. And then he arrives at the moon, uh, sorry, the Mars. Uh, the camera pans down for the landing, and then down he comes. There's a few bits and bats that need to be uh, sort of tidied up, but you get the idea. Okie dokie, there you go. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, and if you have any comments, feel free to comment on the video. And if you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you very much.